We always have good experiences with sea waves. We consider them a part of the pleasures of swimming in the sea and ocean. Not only that, but we also feel relaxed by listening to the sound of the waves. What are sea waves, and how are they formed? We name any disturbance in the sea a wave. When we throw a stone into the water, we create a kind of disturbance on the water's surface and see how waves propagate on the water's surface. In the sea and oceans, some reasons cause this disturbance in the surface water, such as earthquakes, tides, and wind. Here we are talking about wind waves. The wave is the first reaction of the ocean and the sea to the wind. For this reason, it happens again and again in the ocean and seas as the atmosphere and ocean interact all the time. We see the waves every few seconds. When we describe waves using three important parameters, which include the period, direction of the wave, and height of the wave. The direction of the wave shows the direction in which the wave propagates. The height of the wave is expressed in meter and shows how much turbulence or energy the wind has transferred to the sea surface. The period mentions how long we have to wait for the next wave to arrive after one wave passes. Since waves are periodic behaviors, like music, we have a sense of relaxation when listening to them. We know that the changes in the parameters of the wind wave depend on wind speed and direction. Now, according to the direction of the wind and the strength of the wind in the Caspian Sea. What direction and height do you imagine for the waves in the Caspian Sea? Our first information about the waves of the Caspian Sea dates back to about 50 years ago. The first direct measurement data of waves in the Caspian Sea dates back to the mid-1970s. After that, our understanding of Caspian waves has improved with the advancement of technology. In the Caspian Sea, if we classify waves based on their direction, roughly 36% propagate from the north or the northwest, while 32% are from the southeast and the south. Only 12% of the waves propagate towards the east. Other wave directions are weak and unsteady. The calmest season in the North Caspian is the summer, when windless weather often dominates most areas. Thus, we predict that the height of the wave is not remarkable in this season. But, in the cold season, the highest waves occur in the Caspian Sea. In the cold season, the mean wave in the northern and south parts is 0.2 to 0.4 meter, but in the middle part, it reaches its maximum height. The mean wave height can be 0.8 to 1 meter in the middle basin. The average wave height in the south and southeast basins is from 0.3 to 0.7 meter. If we arrange the waves of the Caspian Sea from ascending to descending, Consider the average of one-third of the highest waves in the Caspian Sea and name significant wave height. The average significant wave height in the Caspian Sea is 0.5 to 0.7 meter in the northern basin, and around 1.2 meter in large parts of the middle and southern basins. Particularly in the northern segment of the middle basin, the waves reach up to 1.8 meter. In general, the Caspian waves increase from the northern basin to the middle basin due to the shallow depth of the Caspian Sea in the northern part. This shallow depth does not allow the waves to develop. For example, on days with a wind speed of 15 to 20 meter per second, the height of the waves reaches from about half a meter near the Volga River to about 4 meter in the middle Caspian along the shores of Azerbaijan. On the coasts of Iran, the behavior of waves changes throughout the year. For example, the average wave height in Babulsar is about 43 centimeters. The minimum height wave for spring and the maximum record for winter. The mean period of these waves is 1.87 second in the near coast. It means we should wait 1.87 second to see waves in the Caspian Sea. Waves usually enter the coast of Babulsar from the north and northwest. In general, when we go from east to west along the coast of Iran, the strength of the waves increases. But the waves are not always lead to relaxation for us in the Caspian Sea, and sometimes they become scary, especially during storms. The northerly storms, the most significant waves, are observed in the region of the Apsheron Sill, they are most frequent in the wintertime. At the center of the maximum waves in the region of the Neftienyi Kamni Bank, wave height may reach 8 meter and even 9 to 10 meter during extreme events. Usually, at Apsheron Sill, waves with a height of fewer than 2 meter were observed. 
on the Turkmenian coast, while in the moderate and northwesterly wind, from 5 to 15 meter per second, wave height can be up to 1 meter. But, under storm wind, their height may reach 2 to 3 meter. The waves of the Caspian Sea are relatively dangerous due to their wave height and propagation direction. Can these waves be one of the reasons for the drowning of swimmers in the Caspian Sea? Indeed, the waves are the sound of nature and the interaction of air and water. It is a pleasure to listen to them.